Hey everyone, this is the Critical G here, and I'm just going to demonstrate to you uh, the latest iteration of my screencasting script. So I've added lots of little details to it. it uh, just to give you the long story short, I record a video stream that is the X11 Grab. So I record what's happening on the desktop, and I record what's coming in through the microphone as an audio stream. But then another little detail I have is that I use VLC to open up a little uh, webcam window so you can actually see me through the webcam, <coughs> uh, which um, which runs on the desktop and which I place, which I make sticky, so it's above all the other windows. So it sort of follows me around as I go through the different uh, workspaces. Uh, so when you start with lots of different streams, then you have all sorts of other considerations and one of the things that I wanted to do I mean I like to have a tidy kind of recording studio virtual recording studio is I've got it I've got it to basically open up in the bottom left workspace and then I resize the windows as well so I'm just going to demonstrate that for you now so let's go I've uh, also attached a keyboard shortcut so clicking the keyboard shortcut and got the screencast terminal and I've got the so here we are, here's the webcam, and here's the audio stream, and here's the video stream, and here's the command line for the webcam. And so basically what I do is I've also got a keyboard shortcut that I've attached to XDO tool. So just to show you, uh, XDO tool is XDO tool. Yeah, and you can use that to automate a lot of things that you would do by clicking and by pointing and clicking and typing. So I send uh, the letter Q, I type the letter Q to the audio stream, the video stream, and that closes both of these, and I enter the word quit and the enter or return key uh, to close off the webcam, and then I've also got the rest of my script basically merges the streams and then uh, sends, it, sends the merged video up to YouTube. And I'm gonna do a little bit more with it, I'm going to um, add an outro video so I just need to work out how to concatenate using FFmpeg on the command line and uh, maybe do one or two other things as well. I wouldn't mind having like a little little logo in the bottom corner although the easy option might just be to open up an image on the command line and resize it and just have it sticky and, and above the other windows as well. Uh, but we'll see about that. We'll see about that. <laughs> so uh, that's just a demonstration for you guys. So now what I'll do is I'll close the recording and show you how the rest of it works. So just in case you're wondering, I'm recording the recording with Kazam, which uh, is uh, running here. Um, and uh, so Kazam is this uh, application. I think it's available from the Software Center, or if not, you can just get it from the PPA. I'll add some links below in the video. S now, let's close this. So, attach keyboard shortcut, close the streams. Do I want to merge the streams? Yes. Enter video title, demonstration. Ah. of uh, FFmpeg webcast. Okay, so that must have... that didn't quite go as well as... Uh, usually what happens is it takes that name and then it um, <clears throat> and then it uses that as the video title. But um, I'm not quite sure why that didn't work. But anyway, it gives you an idea of what's going on. And so it'll merge this... It, usually it merges the streams here uh, actually, I'll just I'll just try it again. Why not? I'm here already. <coughs> it's usually very reliable, but of course, when you want to show it off to people, it doesn't quite work the way you'd like it to. That's just the way these things go. All right, so I've recorded a, a wee bit, and then I close the streams. And do I want to merge the streams? Yes. And I'll just call it demo. And so I've got FFmpeg to tell me the length, <coughs> the duration of the, the video. So it's a 13 second video. Okay, thank you. And then it um, uploads it to YouTube. Am I done? Yes. 
and there's the screencast, so there's the video, there's the audio, there's the merged, there's video information file, and um, if I go to YouTube, then you will see, so you're getting to see the back end of the critical G. Isn't it exciting? And there we go, here's the video that's being processed. Now, I don't need that, so I will just delete that. Yep. Okay, and that's that. So that's how it works. So the video information file is just uh, the uh, ffmpeg-i output, and I have a script that just passes it to get the duration video information here. So it's 13 seconds. So that way, while if it's a long video and I'm merging the two streams, if it's going to take a while, at least I know how long the video is going to be without having to go into this date stamped folder and and uh, work it out from there. So that's that. Uh, thanks very much for watching, and let me know what you think.